My name is David Wise. I'm a consultant in emergency medicine at Dereford Hospital in Plymouth, UK. And my talk is in traumatic cardiac arrest. So uh, two points I'd like to get across very clearly and importantly for a pulseless electrical activity traumatic cardiac arrest. The first point is do not do external chest compressions. Uh, you may make matters worse and you will probably not make them better. That's the first point. Second point, uh, do not give the patient vasopressors, typically adrenaline or metaraminol. Do not give the patient vasopressors because they will not benefit. They will in fact be harmed by such a measure. Moving on, um, you must know if you're going to manage a patient who has a traumatic cardiac arrest, you must know the indications and method of doing an emergency department thoracotomy. I will not run through the technique now, but you can uh, Google emergency thoracotomy and you will be, uh, there will be information as to how to do it. But in summary, um, it can be used for release of cardiac tamponade. Remember, this is not just penetrating trauma. You can have tamponade with blunt trauma. So it's release of uh, cardiac tamponade, but it can also be used to access the thoracic aorta for compression of the thoracic aorta for patients that have exsanguinated above or below the diaphragm. The other use for an emergency department thoracotomy is to be able to access one lung for a unilateral catastrophic hemorrhage. One lung can be collapsed uh, using uh, a piece of gauze or an incontinence pad to squeeze the lung down as a measure of hemostasis in the emergency department. In conclusion, um, please know how to do an emergency department thoracotomy, make it your business to do so and uh, know not to use external chest compressions for these patients and not to give vasopressors. Thank you.